I, I want to read a quote to you from a, a prominent Silicon Valley CEO. He said, our goal is to make beautiful products that are simple and intuitive to use. Can anybody guess who that CEO is? It's not Steve Jobs. It's Larry Page in, in last week's, uh, Google's last week's earnings call. Um, the implication is that, th this, uh, th that Google has not sufficiently made uh, beautiful and intuitive products before now. There was something that Larry's trying to change. So can you start at a high level. What, could, talk about the new life at Google under Larry's management. What, what has changed? What is he trying to accomplish? As I said a minute ago, I think that the two things that, um, the two things that matter a lot to us is we don't want to lose our startup velocity. And with scale, there always becomes this tension of how do you keep the startup velocity? And then the second piece is focusing on products. I mean, Google is an engineering and product company. And in that balance of engineering and product, right, there's always, it's, uh, it's always a tension between when you have massive engineering efforts, it's easy to kind of lose sight of the ease of use. And when you focus a lot on ease of use, right, it's easy to actually lose the, the, the focus on the inside. And there lies that balance. So Larry is actually just, in the last 90 days, he basically said, hey, it's just time to reshift. Don't lose any, any sight onto the, the insights of the deep engineering innovation that we drive. Um, time to freshen up a number of sites. And let's make sure that we don't lose focus on that ease of use that makes it magical. I mean, he talks about the toothbrush example, right? He wants the, mm. he wants the product to be so beautiful and so intuitive that just naturally, just like a toothbrush, you, just, you want to use it twice a day, three times a day. It's just the thing that you want to live with. And so that's the kind of focus. But in addition to that, Larry really was very clear that it is important. And we saw it with the triumvirate, right, with a worldwide company. It was, it was slowing us down to have Eric in Europe for two weeks, and then you have to make a decision. And to just kind of simplify the organization to make sure that we have velocity, just like a startup would. And you see it in the Google Plus, for example, right? The number of changes that we have done to Google Plus since its launch, sometimes a number of times a day, right? That's what a startup does. That's what we want as... The, the kind of cultural fiber of the company. What's an example of a change you've made to Google Plus? It just it's only been it's only it was only launched several weeks ago, right? It was launched about uh, two weeks ago, and um, without knowing the details, we got feedback. The way that the team set up the product is they actually set up a blog, a set of blogs to get feedback instantly. And as people said, "Hey, I I can't do this or I can do that," and I wouldn't know all the details of it, um, we actually had the team change code. Right, a couple of times a day or once a day, and they do a push on a regular basis. So what you see today, because Google Plus is a project, really, right? What you see today is already quite different than what you would have seen, say, two weeks ago. So, for example, if you had a before you click on a button that people would have found confusing, they would have said, "Hey, I found this confusing." You'll have a pop-up now that says, "Hey, just to be clear, this is what this will do," as an example, because I've had one yesterday.